So, what are you doing? It is 7.58 a.m. And I'm really just ready for a rip. So I thought I'd have you come along with me. Check things out. Let's go. Oh yeah. Stinky water. Morning. Man, I can still smell it. <laughs> oh, hey. Can you say sugar? <laughs> That's what we're using right there. I installed it. Uh, right after the ride with you guys yesterday I don't know I guess I got inspired or I got a wild hair or whatever I did it and I did it completely by the book and I gotta tell you these brakes are impressive. Oh my god. <laughs> if I want to, I can stop on a dime. Or anywhere in between. <laughs> it's cool. It's really cool. They fit my my uh pinky and well, I don't know what the, that's called. My pinky and my the next one to my pinky those two fingers it fits it perfectly with this because I have one of those uh, it's like a it's like a rubber for your uh, brake lever, lever. <laughs> It's a silicone lever rubber. <laughs> anyway, it makes it a little it makes the lever a little bit uh, thicker and helps you to grip the uh, lever much better. I think it's more of a mountain but uh, mountain bike thing than anything else. But you know. I've been wrong before. <laughs> That's where I, I became aware of it. In either case, it's it's uh, it's pretty amazing. It really is pretty amazing. It it stops so quickly if I want to. Um, if I don't want to, I can just tap the brake when I'm coming. You know, somewhere close to a stop or something, I can just tap it. And, and get get slowed down all I want. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I don't know, you know, I had to shorten the cable um, quite a bit, you know, from the factory factory length. Um, but I don't think that was the the I mean that could have contributed to it being much much better now but you know with the shorter length um, hose you know the hydraulic hose I'm sure that could could have changed the dynamics <laughs> but 
God, I, I can't, I just can't believe it, it could possibly be, change it this much, you know, this is, this is impressive, <laughs> it's very cool, it makes me feel really, really safe, <laughs> It makes me feel like if if so, if I was going you know 25 miles an hour and and somebody popped out in front of me, I'd be able to stop or at least slow down and veer, you know. Where before, with with just straight Magura, um, I didn't have that. I just didn't. You know, I could I could slow a bit if that same situation happened. I could slow a bit and veer and probably tip and and you know be pretty out of control. But you know, I'd be all right. But uh, but holy crap! With with doing what I did yesterday, adding this Shimano lever it's amazing well I added the Shimano lever I bled the brakes I uh, well I lever bred the lever bled the brakes the correct way and uh, did everything everything the correct way and uh, man they're amazing <laughs> God. Still got that click, 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 though. <laughs> click, 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 click. You know what, guys? Let's um, let's just go the regular way this morning. What do you think? I just feel like going uh, the old way this morning. for us. Water. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh god, the big one's full too. Okay, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh god. Let's go through here and see if the glass is still here. What do you think? Just be real careful and see. Oh, there's a bit. Mm-hmm. 
That was fun. Oh yeah, click, click. Morning. Quick! Tap tap of that brake. Thank you. <laughs> You're very sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Sweet lady. Move that big ass sign for me. And <laughs> told that dude, hey, I'm moving your sign. 
Coming up on your left, my dear. Good morning. When I just w went by that big brown truck that was open and uh, the garage that was open on the right hand side, it smelled like bubble gum. <laughs> you know, like real bubble gum, like bubble gum ice cream, bubble gum. Just like that. <laughs> what a trip. That was neat. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. You too. Have a good day at school. Have a good day at school. comes the camera house. Oh, stinky water all over the place. Yeah, slow down. There we go, out of the stinky water.
guys. The ground was just really sparkly back there, or I just ran through a buttload of glass. <laughs> Let's see, are we gonna do it? Yes, we are. Thank you. Some speedsters. <laughs> Very well behaved. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Uh oh, here's the new people. Get out of the way, girly. Morning. Hey guys, do me a favor if you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> and like my videos if you like them. Comment on my videos. I love to hear comments, see comments. I look forward to that every day when I come back. So do that. That'd be nice. Good morning. Oh, stinky water. Ooh, and kitties.
Good morning. Have a good day. Stinky water. Avoided most of it, but I always think right after I go by this deadly area that I'm, I might have hit it. Good morning. I think he was really unsure whether he wanted to say hello to me or not. He wasn't. Well, sure, maybe. It's all right. Not everybody has to want to say hello. That is for sure. enjoy this ride. I really do. This is a totally relaxing ride. I love it. So much fun. Lauren, I pulled the I pulled the trigger on the uh, the Grintec uh, all axle hub motor last night or yesterday, I guess I should say. Um, got a, a couple things with it. Um, one of their amazing controllers that'll control anything. Um, and some some connectors and stuff. They're uh, they're uh, called a Franken Franken runner that's what it's called the controller it's pretty amazing and then there I got their uh, cycle analyst which is their display that that is an amazing programming you know gives you the programming ability to just do whatever you want good morning with your motor so it's just you know anyway I got that um, I also got two um, you know because you can't just have one I got two uh, what are they called? cycle analysts 
Um, good morning. Is it called a psychoanalyst charger? Anyway, what it does is uh, it'll charge your battery, but it'll charge it cell by cell. And it'll let you know if you have any screwed up cells. Um, it does it slowly overnight. And it's really super good for your, uh, for your batteries. So... I spent, you know, eight million dollars on my batteries between the four that I'll have on board. I should probably protect them. So that's what I thought. And I haven't, I, well, I, I could mount them <laughs> to my quad because I have, you know, I mean, I am going to be adding a whole lot of weight, and I kind of, I, I've gone back and forth on that, because I, I, I'd like to have them mounted on board, because all I'd have to do is plug into a wall, and, you know, uh, wherever I was, it doesn't matter. That be it seems easier to me um, rather than thinking about taking a charger if I needed one and and you know forgetting it and stuff like that that would be cool and I think if I end up doing group rides enough where I'm going away enough that might be the answer but Maybe right now, I'll just, I'll, uh, I won't mount them. I'll just have them on the side like I do the, um, my other chargers. I also have the two fast chargers that I bought with the, the 72 volt batteries. I mean, I do have those. I was thinking about... adapting the uh, connector on those to uh, be able to charge my 48 volt batteries. Because I would, uh, I would like to charge them faster than three hours, I mean. I'd like to charge them in half that. I'd like to charge them in an hour and a half or two hours for an hour's worth of fun. That would be much more worth it. But I also don't want to blow them up. So, you know, it's kind of a balance, I guess. So anyway, yeah, the, um, the Grin, Grin Tech badass motor is coming. <laughs> they do have a uh, warning on their website about shipping. So I'm not looking forward to it being here anytime really super soon. But it's possible that it could be here maybe, possibly as early as next week. Possibly. Late next week. I mean, it's coming from Canada. Come on. Probably, probably more like the following week or the next week. <laughs> like a... Uh, three weeks to a month out, maybe. I think that's what their website said it could be. And that's okay. 
Ja, ich spare noch. Alright, it is the motor. I was wondering what the, uh, <laughs> there is a new sound that I found yesterday. And, uh, I was wondering what it was and I just figured it out. It is the motor. The motor sprocket is a little bit loose, I do believe. I saw some screws kind of a little bit out of it. Oh, we have wetness this morning. I'm gonna have to get some more screws because <clears throat> I don't have those button head screws. I have about a trillion of the hex socket. Um, what do they call those barrel heads or something? I bought absolutely every single <laughs> length of M2, M3, M4, M5, and M6 and their corresponding lock washers, regular flat washers, and nuts. <laughs> but, I don't have these kind of uh, screws on hand, so I'll get an assortment of those, so I have them for this project, and I'll have some for the next project. It just lugged. <laughs> it was like, uh, Pepe needs a drink. 
He needs to pick me up. <laughs> oh my god. God, I can't wait for those big ass batteries. <laughs> That'll be cool. Oh, I didn't I didn't order it, but um because they're out of stock on it. But Grin also sells a, I think I mentioned this before, uh, a kit that <clears throat> you, can, you can get that you can use one of their controllers to control your uh, BBS HD motor. So as soon as they come in stock, I'm going to get that. It's not very expensive at all. It's hardly anything. It's... I don't know, under a hundred dollars, I think. Anyway, um, it'll bring the motor up to 1500 watts. And I'll be able to control every single little aspect of the motor. And I'm guessing by the time I get it, I'll be used to tweaking the motor because I'll have the, uh, the, the other Grin motor installed. Well, hopefully I will. <laughs> so, ooh, look at all these people waiting. Big old line. Sucks to be them. Morning. Pepe is tired. Very tired. Needs a little shot. Little shot of juice, baby. We'll stop down at the under the bridge. Not really a dog park park. Something stinky. Coming by you on your left, bud. Good morning. Take care, guys. Have a good day.